I feel like people really underestimate the power of their mobile phones when it comes to photography and content creation. The other day, my girlfriend and I were out on a walk and we decided to do a little impromptu photo shoot just using our mobile phones. And today I thought it would be an interesting idea to take those photos and see if we can create a cool little photo series just using our mobile phones editing on Lightroom Mobile. So today's tutorial is actually part of a little project that I have been working on with Samsung called Samsung Sessions, where I basically show you how to create something from start to finish using just your phone. I'm pretty curious to see how these photos turn out considering that they're gonna be shot and edited completely on mobile. So without further ado, let's get stuck into today's session. Alright, so jumping into our device, I've gone ahead and uploaded the three photos that we're going to edit into Lightroom Mobile. I've got a wide shot, a medium shot, and a tight shot, all of which I shot on the S20 Ultra. And it's great because this phone actually has a wide angle lens, a medium lens, and a zoom lens, allowing us to capture more perspectives and tell more of a story when we're creating photo series like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this photo here of Sarah, which is my favorite photo from this series of her laying down in the grass and holding a little flower over her eye. Now, the first thing that I like to do with any image is make sure that it's properly exposed before I do anything else. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the light tab, go to our tone curve. I'm gonna keep these shadows pretty low. Might bring them up slightly. And then what I'll do is I'll bring the mid tones down a little bit and then boost our highlights there at the top, giving it a nice clean polished look. And overall, it's a pretty well exposed image, so it doesn't need too much done there. The next thing I wanna do with a photo like this is I wanna draw more attention to our subject and give the photo a little bit more of a mood. So to do that, I'm gonna use a radial mask and I'm gonna draw a circle over our subject there in the center of the frame. And then I'm gonna invert that, meaning that whatever I affect is gonna only apply to whatever is outside of that circle. So we've got our mask drawn over our subject. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring down the exposure just to draw more attention to Sarah there in the middle of the frame. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So if I go before and after, you can see already how much more moodier the image looks just by applying that mask and making sure that it's properly exposed. So the next thing I wanna do is I wanna change the color of the grass around her. For me, it's a little bit too orange and it looks a little bit dead. So I wanna give it a bit more of a bluey sort of greeny tinge. So to do that, I'm gonna go into our color slider and I'm gonna change the hue of our greens. I'm gonna bring that up the saturation down slightly, bring up that luminance. And then similarly with the greens, I'm gonna drag that all the way over to the left and bring down the saturation of the yellows and just bump up that luminance slightly. Just bring it baby back down to there, looks good. I'm pretty happy with that. Maybe a little bit more saturation in those yellows. Okay, cool. Now, if we look at the before and after, there's already a huge difference in the color and the overall mood and feel of the image. I do feel like our subject now is a little bit too dark. So what I'm gonna do is go back into our radial filter selection tab, and I'm actually gonna draw another subtle little mask just over the face of our subject to bring a little bit more light and a little bit more glow into her face. I'm gonna add a little bit of contrast as well, just to crunch that down a bit. And that's already looking way better. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna draw one more mask just over this little flower here, just to give it a little bit of a glow and make it stand out from the rest of the image, as I think it's probably one of the main focal points of this particular photo. So draw a little mask there and then just increase the exposure, which is gonna give it a nice little glow bring down the shadows and bump up the contrast slightly so it's not too overexposed. Done. And then that's already looking way, way better. Now, the last thing that I'm probably gonna do here is just sort of bring a little bit more life and saturation into her skin tone. 
So I'm gonna go back into the color tab. If I affect the orange side here, you can see that it's affecting her skin. So I'm gonna bring a little bit more warmth and a little bit more saturation just into her skin there, which is looking really nice. Done. And I might just actually bring a little bit more light into our image with that radial filter. There. So if you look at the before and after of this image, it's a huge difference. This was shot using the pro mode on the S20 Ultra and it's allowed us to affect all the colors and the exposure of our image and give it a really nice, clean, professional look without actually damaging the image or losing or sacrificing any quality in the photo here. So I went ahead and edited the remaining two images using the same techniques and settings that we did in the first image that we edited together in order to give all of our photos a nice consistent clean look. Having a look at the before and after of these images, you can see just how easy it is to create a really nice clean professional look by making a few simple adjustments and changes to settings in Lightroom Mobile. Thank you so much for tuning into my Samsung sessions today. I hope that you've enjoyed seeing how I've been using photography to stay creative in recent months. To wrap things up, I'm gonna leave you with my top three tips from today's session. Tip number one would be to make use of the S20 Ultra's camera features and different camera lenses to capture different perspectives and tell more of a story through your images. Tip number two would be to make sure that your images are properly exposed before editing as it's gonna make it a lot easier to apply color and various effects later on. Lastly, tip number three would be to make use and play around with different radial filters and graduated filters to draw attention to your subjects as well as make your photos more stylized and moody. Thanks so much again for watching and I'll see you next time.